yellow tape, melted plastic and black charred wood. All signs that something devastating happened here. A garden house and tool shed destroyed by a fire that ripped through here four months ago. But it was the glass greenhouse at Glendale Gardens that was the biggest loss. It was quite astounding, quite frankly. I, I was called at two in the morning and, and uh, I crossed over the corner between uh, Royal Oak and West Sanch Road and the flames were 100 feet in the air. The greenhouse was built at the Horticulture Centre of the Pacific, also known as Glendale Gardens, in the 1970s. But over the years, it went from being a working greenhouse to more of a community gathering space for things like plant exhibits and wedding receptions. We discovered that uh, brides loved it. It was post-industrial glass, so it was quite unique. So it was never intended to be a, a, a wedding chapel, but it, it morphed into being one. Today, a large and temporary tent is all that's left. And now work is about to get underway to rebuild the greenhouse. And the need to raise about $2 million to do it. It's a lot of money, far more than the $200,000 the gardens received in insurance after the fire. But staff here say it's going to be bigger and better and even more accessible to the community. We never really had facilities uh, 365 days a year. Uh, we. We were really on operationally uh, for the community pretty much four months of the year, in the summer months. This building gives us that flexibility we've never had before. And what will take shape here will look very different. It won't be the glass house we've come to know. Architect Christine Lintot says it's being designed to blend into the landscape. It's a very elegant building. Um, I, I'm inspired by sort of Japanese, uh, the use of wood and stone uh, in really sparse and, and very elegant ways. It uh, is wood and glass. It's all about light and air. Um, people should feel really comfortable but feel part of the site when they're in it. And Lynn Todd says only the imagination will limit what its full potential will be. It could also host Christmas parties. It could host harvest parties. Um, it could uh, solstice and uh, equinox parties. Um, anything you can possibly imagine. I've even said to Roger and his team, uh, groups, community groups could rent it to have yoga. And for many people who come here every day or even once a year, Glendale Gardens is more than just 10 acres of a spectacular escape. And perhaps no one understood that more than a former Saanich mayor and MLA who founded the gardens, the late Mel Cuvillier, who passed away in May. Ever since then, it's been very close to his, uh, to his heart. Um, and he's always kept uh, some attention. He's always kept some eye on what was happening at the Horticultural Centre. The new building will honour Cuvillier's legacy and will be known as the Cuvillier Pavilion. It's a tremendous honour. Um, I'm sure he's smiling uh, up there knowing that, uh, that they've named this then dedicated the building in his name. Um, it's a lasting legacy and for the family it's a lasting legacy for my father as well. Um, so we're, we're truly honoured. The goal is to have shovels in the ground this fall, so the fundraising campaign is in full swing. The new Cuvillier Pavilion is expected to open next year. In Saanich, I'm Nikki Ewanishan, your Community News Specialist.